What Mike Huckabee just said about Joe will have him hiding his face in shame. I highly doubt that, but oh well. Uh, the U.S. for, this is by us Trump.com. Saturday on Fox and Friends, former Arkansas governor Mike Huckabee weighs in on the left's attacks against uh, the right. He said the attack started with the winning victory of President Trump. During his interview, Huckabee said that people haven't accepted the fact that Trump was elected as president and they are continuing to attack those who support him. They've tried to not only delegitimize the election itself, but they've tried to commit acts of terror. When you try to change people's behavior by intimidation, by threats of violence, and by actual violence, and by boycotting them, and by taking away their liberty, that's terrorism, said Huckabee. Recently, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders, uh, Mike Huckabee's daughter, was kicked out of a restaurant last month in Virginia due, her, due to her association with the president. A teenager who supports President Trump uh, was also recently attacked in a restaurant Tuesday for wearing a MAGA hat. Uh, Huckabee added that the attacks on uh, Trump supporters are what's destroying the country, not disagreements between political parties. Yeah, I, I agree. Uh, then Mike slammed Donnie Deutsch and Joe Scarborough of liberal conspiracy MSNBC, who compared Trump supporters to Nazis and referred to them as racist. That is a ridiculous statement on its face. He, meaning Scarborough, should have been fired for that, certainly suspended and forced to apologize, Huckabee declared. Yeah, that, but they're paying him to say that. Soros, uh, Soros is backing these channels because they, 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 they would never be on the air. Uh, n nobody watches them, really. Just very few people. When you start going to that level, uh, that extreme of attempting to dehumanizing the other side, things are truly spiraling out of control, Huckabee added. Yeah, I totally agree with Mike Huckabee. Absolutely correct. Mike Huckabee, good morning, sir. Good morning. You know, good morning, all. As morning. I see this play out, it all started with your daughter trying to go to a restaurant, have dinner. Uh, and, you know, and I see you smiling because, you know, at the time we thought, oh, this is kind of silly. But, sir, it's gotten quite serious since then. Yeah. Well, it actually started with the election. In a free society where people choose their government, the one thing that is required for that government to survive is that people have to accept the results of the election. And what we've had since uh, November of 2016 is that uh, the losing side has not accepted the results. So what they've done from day one, from the moment this has happened, they've tried to not only delegitimize the election itself, but they've tried to commit acts of terror. And I use that word very intentionally because when you try to change people's behavior, by intimidation, by threats of violence, and by actual violence, and by boycotting them, and by uh, taking away their liberty. That's terrorism. And what we're seeing is a, a form of terrorism on the left that is unprecedented in American history. Look, it's fine to disagree with election results. It's fine to hate the people who get elected. I say it's fine. It's really not. But that doesn't necessarily destroy our country. This destroys our country. Governor, is there another ingredient to it, too? You say... Uh delegitimize. How about dehumanize? This idea that if you're wearing a MAGA hat, you must be a racist secretly. This idea, you know, th that there's code words and you're imputing the supporters. Uh, at some point, that gives you license to confront in any way. Well, it's very much a part of it. I mean, when you have uh, anchors uh, like Joe Scarborough saying that anyone who voted for and or supported the president is a racist, that is a ridiculous statement on its face. He should have been fired for that, certainly suspended and forced to apologize. When you had a panelist say that anyone who supported, this is Donnie Deutsch, who said if, any, if you support or voted for Trump, you're a Nazi. My gosh, when you start going to that level, that extreme of yeah. attempting to, as you say, and I agree, dehumanize the other side, uh, things are truly spiraling out of control. Yeah, and Governor, this is when leadership truly matters, right? To your point, that's when you need the folks at the top to step in and say, we aren't going to stand for this. This goes well beyond the pale. But we're not seeing that happen. So what, 
what is the answer? How do we get to a better place? Because my fear is this has just become the norm now, and it's only going to get increasingly worse as the midterms heat up, and then you have 2020, you're going to have how many more MAGA hats running around this country? How do we, how do we calm this down? Abby, I wish I had a simple answer, but a lot of it starts with the most important institution MSM. the government will ever have, the home. Mothers and fathers raising their children to respect other human beings as human beings, oh, that's teaching true. them to, to have some basic fundamental manners and courtesies. And then it extends also all the way up to uh, not only our political leadership, but, but the people who are the uh, maybe the amplifiers of public opinion in the media. We, we all have responsibility. But to your point, I'm really concerned that there are a lot of people who have zero understanding of American history. They have yeah. no idea that we just observed the 4th of July, and they have no idea what this country is mm -hmm. about, how it started, what its fundamental principles are, and how we save it. Yeah. It's MSM, propaganda outlets. That's, that's what it is. Uh, that's the, the only explanation. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.